is Crazy Pedro's in Manchester's Northern Quarter. They specialise in pizza and booze and have Manchester's largest mezcal and tequila selection. In their words, they're pretty laid back, there's no bookings, no table service and no worries. They suggest you grab a frozen margarita, a slice of pizza and watch the party unfold. Now, they call themselves a part-time pizza parlour. Part-time because originally this was just going to be a pop-up. However, it was so successful, it went so well that it's remained permanent. But we're not here to talk about how well it's doing or how great it is. Lyndon, hello. Hello. You are the owner of Crazy Pedro's, Indeed, yeah. amongst other things around amongst Manchester. Amongst other things, yeah. We are going to delve <coughs> through the yeah. worst reviews I could possibly find on TripAdvisor. Great. And just see how you feel about it, man. Yeah, man. Is that okay? Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all right. We've got a beer, we've got some tequila. Exactly. We're set. Okay, ready. First one, this is from a Daniel M. The place really didn't have great ambience. There were posters of rock albums on the ceiling, but with commercial pop blaring out. It felt all too fake, like it was appealing to people who wanted to pretend that they were slumming it. <laughs> okay, wow. Um, Pedro's is not a contrived place, you know. We, we, we kind of do what we want here. We want it to look like something, and we want people to have fun. In that respect, the bartenders put whatever fucking songs they want on, and if it's Ricky Martin playing and everyone's having a good time, then so what? Adam's Travels has got something to say about your stuff. Lindy. Great. Nice pizza, he begins. Perfect. But spoiled by the staff. The staff are arrogant, rude, and ignorance. Don't go here if you expect to be spoken to like a human being. Right, well... <sighs> Do you know what? I, I, I think we've all been to places where, where the bar staff are just, you know, these arrogant bartenders who think they're better than everyone else and stuff like that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that anybody ever thinks like that who's a bartender. If they did, they shouldn't be a bartender. I think sometimes that can get misconstrued into this thing that he's saying. I think maybe, I don't know, maybe bartender, maybe... Maybe being man a bar does make you into a bit of a twat. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I used to be a bartender. Should we have some tequila? Hang on. Yeah, let's have some tequila, man. Oh, cheers. Um, whilst I'm thinking about this answer, wow, cheers. Um, I mean, that's a horrible thing to hear when, you, when your staff are like that. I, I, really, I really think it is. I think that, you know, if... It, if that's how we thought about the staff, then yeah, it, that's horrible because the staff are, literally, we employ people who are great at the job, who are really, really good at what they do. They know everything about the mezcal, the tequila, everything else like that. And, you know, did a st member of staff have a bad day? If they did, they shouldn't ever be behind the bar having that. They have a good, ta good day and a good time. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's annoying. Uh, yeah. Well, Adam's Travels, there you go. Yeah, they may sorry, have been having a bad sorry day. Adam. Uh, this is about the staff. Well, I guess about staff knowledge. So, there's a story behind this. We decided that we wanted to have the hot dog pizza, but we had to check what meat the hot dogs were as my girlfriend doesn't eat beef. When I asked the staff what meat the hot dogs contained, I was sarcastically answered with hot dogs. I then asked if they knew whether the meat was pork or beef, but the waitress seemed to have no idea and rudely told me that it was the meat that you would normally find in hot dogs. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty bad. Um, that's pretty bad. The staff knowledge it goes from, well, it comes from everyone. The, every single person, any place, anywhere, a restaurant or a bar should know, you know, what's on the back bar to what's coming out of the kitchen, and they should know the ingredients that are in it. Uh, that's kind of unforgivable that, that that's been said, and that's just a total lack of knowledge from a member of staff. It could have been a brand new member of staff. Could have been, could have been. It could have been that. It could have been somebody who's been here for ages and they don't know. What meats and hot dogs? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me that. Shit. <laughs> I, 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 I've got a good feeling it's pork, but it, <laughs> but it might be beef. Okay, uh, isn't it the normal meat that's in hot dogs? It, it is, it's hot dog meat, yeah? Um, okay. Last one, man. Oh God, thank God. That's all right, and, and this, this isn't too harsh. So, it, I, he... He compares you to another restaurant, but as they're not here, I'm not going to mention this other restaurant. So we'll just, for the benefit of this conversation, call it Dave's. Okay. okay? So imagine the atrocious, can't be bothered attitude of Dave's serving Asda Smart's priced pizzas for £10 a pop, 
and half pints of Carlsberg at three pound in plastic US style red cups in a venue that looks like a 19s grunge gig venue and you've nailed Crazy Pedro's. One out of five is too generous. Why can't I give zero? <laughs> All right, wow, okay. I take um, 90s grunge gig venue as a compliment. I, I, I think... Look, I think, I think Pedro's is a bit of a Marmite type place for, for certain people, as, as a lot of places are, but when you sort of go out there and you kind of, you know, you, you make it look like a 90s grunge rock and roll venue or something like that, then, then if you don't like that, then you're going to hate it. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. I find half of that quite complimentary, what he said, even though it's, uh, he wants to give us zero out of five. It's just this crazy thing that came up in my head and it's been put out there to, to look like this. If you don't like it, then I really, really am sorry. But I think, I think you know, we, we, do, we do it for our customers, we do it for ourselves, because if you don't do it for yourself, then, then you know, you haven't got that love that, that, that most customers give you. Yeah. Um, I'm waffling on because I don't know the answer to no, it. No, that's okay. Well, there isn't an answer, is there? <laughs> yeah. But remember, if you don't like Crazy Protos, you can always go on TripAdvisor and slate it, which <laughs> these people have. Yeah. Um, Lyndon, thanks for being such My a man, good sport, thank man. You. How thank was you. How was that for you? That was absolutely horrible. I thought it could have been worse, though. <laughs> I'm going to have some more tequila. Let's have some tequila, some. man. Sweet. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, my God. Thank you, mate. No, thank you. And, yeah, I hope to get some five out of fives. There were plenty there. Yeah. There were plenty Cheers. there. Delicious. Yeah.